Rick Klein, political director for ABC News, Long Island's finest. Rick, welcome back to the show, man. How you doing this morning? Hey, well, great to be with you here from uh, from Ohio. We got a debate tonight. Exciting. Yeah. Oh man, are you out there already? Yeah, yeah, I got here. Got here last night. I, mean, I need to be in place for the to watch the Yankees game. Right here, so. <laughs> I, you know. <laughs> I go back and forth with our producer, Frankie Five Burrows. The first question is all about baseball, Rick. You know, and it's so true, though, man. I know you'll be watching that. You'll have it in your headphone. You could be nodding like you're listening to the debate. You know, you'll be listening exactly. to the— <laughs> Hey, but before we get to the political stuff, honestly, Rick Klein, being the great baseball fan that you are, are we going to see Yankees, Nationals, World Series? What are you thinking, man? I don't, I don't want to tempt fate, but the Nats are throw up 3 nothing right now and have never looked stronger. It's exciting in D.C. People don't realize that, you know, the, the Yankees have had those 27 World Series. Since, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, since, since the Nationals have been around and the Nats have, haven't, haven't been to the World Series in almost 100 years in any form <laughs> fashion. So a little bit different. So it's, but it's exciting. It's like a buzz in the city over it. A lot of people wearing red. Let's, let's go. I'm looking forward to that matchup. That's funny. But you're a Yankees fan being from New York, no? Oh, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, but the kids are Nats fans, so they're you know they're already worried about what I'll do if, uh, if there's a matchup. But don't worry, I'm the, I'm the Yankees. Fan. I don't, don't embarrass me, Dad. That's, that's all right, man. As long as you're a baseball fan, it's all about baseball. Hey, Rick, we're talking about Tulsi Gabbard. Um, I I feel that uh, she is the Democrats' uh, secret weapon against the president, and, and we and I support. Uh, no no apologies here, but I, I support President Trump certainly. But boy, she's good. She's smart. She's good. I disagree with her on cer- certain things certainly. Are they? She's back on the debate stage. Uh, so, what did you make of that New York Times hit piece on Tulsi last weekend? Frankie and I were just talking about that. Well, it's interesting. Tulsi Tulsi is a very fascinating person in so many ways, and uh, she presents different kind of matchup issues against President Trump. Uh, she's also got a pretty complicated relationship with uh, with Syria in the past that, that may be problematic yeah, for the Democrats. Yeah, right. but, you, know, she, you know, she talked about boycotting this debate. She talked about not coming at all, right. and ended up coming around and doing it. And I feel like Democrats have to be a little scared of, of her as a, a, you may be right that she's a secret weapon, but she could also blow up in the wrong direction because there's a lot of talk about her if she doesn't win the nomination, uh, going third party or, you know, or bolting the party or trying to convince her supporters not to not to stick with her. Uh, you know, she's she's kind of a Bernie Sanders figure, but I think she's a, a lot more a lot more charisma than Bernie and uh, and potentially potentially more dangerous. But I, I agree with you that she she's a twist in this in this race and she offers something that the other democrats aren't really talking about and then i was thinking about uh, talking about the debates with rick klein political director for abc news uh, with piscopo in the morning on am 970 the answer joe biden i thought he's in he's out he's going to get out of there but the fact that you had the interview this morning and i know you're going to listen to am 970 the answer but on the uh, uh, good morning america you, there was a great interview with hunter biden you found hunter biden you know over there at abc and he's addressing the issues, saying he'll step down and maybe I made a mistake. And that shows me that Joe Biden is really uh, trying to make this whole, this whole uh, run work. I mean, what's the take over there at ABC after talking to Hunter, Rick? Oh, I think Biden is in this race. There's no question. And, and I think his son is trying to make things as right as possible, saying he's going to step down from those boards and trying to turn it back on, on President Trump. Uh, you know, his answers, um, I think, are, you know, they, they, some of them could be problematic. Him saying he would, probably wouldn't have had a job like this if his last name wasn't Biden. That's, that's kind of the point of the swamp. And I think he, he basically acknowledges as much. Uh, but I think it's important for them to get an answer. I'm fascinated to see how the other Democrats handle it, because you know the dynamics over there, uh, Joe. No Democrat wants to do Trump's bidding. They don't want to be look, look like they're doing what Trump asked them to do. Right, that right. said, uh, there's a bunch of them that would love to make the case that, you know what? I, I represent a break with the status quo. I am not going to allow you know, my my kids or the, the kids of my VP to, to serve on corporate boards of foreign entities. They want to show that they are actually an answer to the perceived corruptions of Washington. And uh, do they go there against Joe Biden? I don't really know how they how they do that without looking like they're doing what Trump wants them to do, which is a problem. Yeah, and and Elizabeth Warren, you know, participating as the front runner, I guess. Unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. Do, do, do you expect the other candidates to go after her tonight? Well, I, Bernie Sanders is signaling that, that he will. He says, you know, Elizabeth Warren, she's a capitalist to her bones, and I'm not. That is a that is quite <laughs> That's great. that is quite the fight to pick. I, That's you know, I, I, someone asked me on someone asked me on the Sunday show the other day who wins that fight. I think Joe Biden wins that fight yeah. because if you have got yeah. Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren fighting over who's the socialist or who's the capitalist, then someone out of the mainstream can kind of pick up the pieces from that. It's uh, a, yeah, but it, yeah, yeah. It, it, 
he, she is the front runner now if you look at a range of recent polls. And Bernie's fade and the heart scare from a couple of weeks ago mm. kind of fuel mm. this. Uh, all, all point to, to her being the candidate to beat more than Biden at this moment. I know. It's so tough. They're, you know, people are going to be waiting for Bernie to, like, falter. I, I mean, ever so slightly. You know, don't, don't you think so? After, uh, after uh, oh, yeah. you know, the heart attack, they're going to be watching. And now this is the first uh, debate for Tom Steyer. He was the, the impeachment guy. Now he's getting what he wants. What possible rationale is there for his candidacy, candidacy do you think, Rick? Well, look, he, he can come in as the, as the guy that isn't owned by anybody, as a billionaire who's self-funding, right. and yeah. the guy that, yeah. uh, that yeah. has led a movement and run a business. And you know, it's a different argument. I, I, you know, if he had been in six months ago and made the first debate, the second debate, I think it, it may have caught different fire. It's hard to see how he wages himself into a fully developed field, but yeah. Yeah. there are voters still up for grabs, and, and Steyer certainly has the resources to stay in this the whole way. Yeah. Rick, you know, we always appreciate you being on the show, and when people are kind enough, as someone in your uh, astute position, I, I hesitate to push back, and uh, that I'm guilty as charged because I appreciate it and want to show you respect, but I've got to ask you about that video that came out on ABC News, if you can clear that up. some They had video from a rifle range, and they said, oh, this is from the Kurdish, this is from Donald Trump attacking the Kurds, is what virtually the way it came out, you know, with with Turkey going after Syria, and they used the wrong footage. How did how does the wrong, how does the wrong footage like that? And and you retracted it, by the way. I have to say, ABC retracted it almost immediately. But how how does that video get out there? Do you know offhand? I don't. That wasn't part of it. But you know, I I know that we um you know we made a mistake. ABC made a mistake. That's that's basically all that I know about it. Um, yeah. you know, we're human, and we have to own those errors when they happen. There's no. There's no excuse for yeah. it. There's no yeah. real, you know, explanation beyond that. Mistakes, mistakes happen. And it was quick. And it was that. quickly uh, uh, clarified. So we appreciate that. Hey, Rick. Too. Before we let you go, anything that Hunter Biden said that we're missing in this conversation this morning that we should know about on the radio? I think the, the key to, to Biden on this is he, he, what he's saying now is that he made a mistake, uh, and he says his mistake wasn't in um, in, any, in violating any laws or any rules, but the mistake was essentially a political one because people were going to misconstrue. Uh, what that work meant. At the same time, he's acknowledging he probably wouldn't have had that job if his last name wasn't Biden. So people will make of it what they want. Yeah, uh, I yeah. think he comes across as a, a very, you know, very human person mm. uh, and, and someone who's had a history of substance abuse and history of a lot of struggles and looking to looking to struggle through this uh, in a way that doesn't hurt his dad. All right, we'll be watching tonight on ABC. Uh, we got the Democratic debates and uh, actually go Yankees. Uh, let's start there if we can. Go Yankees. <laughs> go let's, yeah. uh, let's start there. We can always agree <laughs> on that. So. Rick Klein, always appreciate it. Love to your family on. Long Island. Rick, always appreciate you jumping on the air with us, my friend. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Rick Klein, political director for ABC News.